The model is 16 feet long. It is 4 foot wide and 5 foot tall in its tallest point. It is fully detailed. It displays as the ship was present in 1989 with Air Wing 11 aboard. Air Wing 11 at the time had a designation NH. Here's one of the F-14s on catapult number one. This is the first elevator. The hangar bay is complete. And I forgot to turn it on, so I'm going to stop it. Now you can see inside the hangar bay of the ship. The F-18s are a visiting squadron because the ship did not have F-18s on board on the 1989 cruise, but it was not uncommon for a visiting squadron, especially a marine squadron, to fly on board for maybe a week or two of uh, carrier qualification training. Here's another F-14. It's a big ship. I am not the best at taking pictures like this, but I'm trying my best. First, I'm going to take shots uh, of uh, encapsulating the nature, and then I'm going to home in closer to various points of the ship. This is uh, obviously the starboard side of the ship. In uh, 1997, I had a chance to fly aboard the ship on a C2, I mean, on the E2C Greyhound. Actually, it's a C2A, I apologize for that. This is the C2A, it's scratch built. Uh, as you can see in most of the models, I folded the wings and uh, showed them as typically the, the planes would be uh, positioned on the carrier. Uh, these are two E2Cs over here. Again, you can see the hangar bay, how it's detailed and how it's finished. This is the superstructure with the mast on top. The crash crane is one of the last details I've finished on the ship very recently. It took me about a year to uh, put it together and uh, uh, get it correctly done. Uh, including the wheels, are all scratch built. The model took me about 20 years to build, obviously not all the time. Here's the crane that picks up planes, ship, small boats and what have you and uh, transport them into the ship. Here's looking into elevator number three. Aft of the ship is not easy to see right now because obviously uh, there's no light source on there. There's one of the Gatling guns that's also scratch built. You can see the missile launchers. Here's an EA-6B prowler. There are two of them. Next to them is an F-14 Tomcat. 
you can see the landing platforms and the uh, four resting wires on the ship. Here's the entrance to elevator number four on the port side of the ship. I'm purposely homing in on close details. A6 intruder. And another one that's ready to be to take catapult of elevator uh catapult number four. And catapult number three is another F14 Tomcat. There are the Fresno lens and the landing platform. The helicopters, the helicopters are uh, Sikorsky SH-3H helicopters. You can see on the F-18 is over here getting refueled. Cameras for the ship. Every takeoff and landing gets photographed so that in case there's a mishap, they can find out what happened and try to learn from it so that it would not happen again. I am homing in on some of the more interesting areas of the ship. Starboard side, by catapult number one. You can see all the detail of the catwalks, the various people around. This is typical of air operations. Close up of the superstructure. This is the only one that looks like a square Apparently, it did not work very well. Took up too much space from the parking areas for the ship. And so all the Nimitz class are rectangular rather than square. The radar is all glued together from small pieces of plastic. This front one took me about six months to do. Quite an elaborate and intensive project. These are S3 submarine hunters. <laughs> 